Okay guys, scramblers, what I want to talk about today is uh, floor press. Floor press is one of my favorite accessory movements when programming for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu athletes, MMA fighters and um, grapplers. And obviously the reason is when you're on the floor, there's some transferability to uh, grappling in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, especially if you've got someone top side control or in a top position, learning how to, learning how to make a strong frame Good elbow extension position is obviously really, really handy. So, one of the benefits of uh, floor press is that we can um, obviously take out a lot of the excessive stress that uh, conventional bench press puts across the anterior shoulder. We can overload the triceps really well, and uh, it's just a movement that, that works really well um, as part of your program, especially if you're if you're peaking done at very high velocities. So, key points of the floor press. Obviously you need the J-hooks set at a height that allows you to uh, take the bar out of the rack really comfortably. So when you've got straight arms, palm your hands should literally just only be above the J-hooks. Take a really tight grip and then just there, with stiff arms you should literally just be able to lift the bar out to the position you want to start. So in terms of your position on the floor, you want to be just out from the rack. I like it so that I can see the bar within my eye line. And I have a choice of grips. I have uh, a wide grip, which is obviously closer to uh, competition lift. A mid grip, which is what I prefer, so my, uh, index, my uh, little finger sorry, is closer to the smooth ring on the bar. And obviously then, finally, a close grip, which uh, my index finger is on the smooth inside part of the bar obviously far more tricep emphasis with that. Now a few points on the floor press is that you need to pull your shoulder blades in and down and keep your lats really, really tight. I've got a choice in terms of leg position. If I want to have a little bit more stability uh, and a little bit more drive, I keep my feet flat. Obviously this is uh, you know, some sort of some transferability to the sport. Um, but in this case, what I can also do is put my legs flat which then takes out a lot of my uh, stability, puts far more um, effort than would require in the upper body. So for this one, I'm just going to put my feet in pretty close to my butt, take that mid grip, stiff arms out, let the bar settle, pull my lats in and down, and now what I want to do is make sure my elbows and wrists are pretty much in line. I pull the bar into my chest and I make sure my elbows are at a 45 degree angle to my body. Just from there, let the bar settle and then press as fast as I can. Again, back down, I pull the bar into my chest. And then from there, press as fast as I can. So pulling in, back tight, elbows at 45 degrees to the body, and just press. Should go back into the rack really smoothly. And that's the full press.